day, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video will be Zacharias chapter 8 in the Septuagint. Let's begin, shall we? Quote, And the word of the Lord Almighty came, saying, Thus says the Lord Almighty, I have been jealous for Jerusalem and Zion, two different places, with great jealousy, and I have been jealous for her with great fury. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion and dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a true city, and the mountain of the Lord Almighty, a holy mountain. Stop! Can I stop pointing out the fact that Jerusalem and Zion are two different places now? I think the evidence is clear, and hopefully you feel the same. Let's continue. Quote, Thus says the Lord Almighty, There shall yet dwell old men and old women in the streets of Jerusalem, every one holding his staff in his hand for age, and the broad places of the city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Stop! Israeli supporting Christians, what Jesus? Mm -mm -mm. Has there ever been a time in the history of the Jew boy Israeli's existence where this joyful event has, or even better question, could ever happen in the state of Israel? I think we all know the answer to that. Let's continue. Check out Yah's holy talk. Quote, Thus says the Lord Almighty, If it shall be, future, impossible in the sight of the remnant of this people in those days. Stop! Mm. The words in those days link back to the future phrase, if it shall be, which can only mean it's talking about us. Now Yah is asking a question. Quote, shall it also be impossible in my sight, says the Lord Almighty? Stop! Did you hear that, people? Y'all just say, even though they feel what I am saying is impossible to come true, is it impossible for me? The answer is no, y'all. This can only mean there are Hebrew Christian Israelites among us that say with their mouths, y'all save us. But they have left their hearts in San Francisco. How do I come up with this, you ask? Because Christians, like Jesus, mm, 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 don't know anything about these words we are speaking of now. They have no concept of who we are. So how on earth would they perceive we are to be saved from America? No. This is talking about you, cats. Treacherous Judas Goat Judah. If you don't believe this is the context conveyed, let's continue. Quote, Thus says the Lord Almighty, Behold, I will save my people from the East Country and the West Country and will bring them in and cause them to dwell in the midst of Jerusalem and they shall be to me a people and I will be to them a God in truth and in righteousness. Stop! I told you. I told you that's what it meant. I got to bring it back. Bring that thought back. Yeah, bring it back. Yeah, boy. Question. Why on earth would you want to stay here, people? Is the matrix that powerful? Has life beaten you down to the point you would rather a subpar and sublime life now? then pray to be saved and reap perfect prosperity? What are you scared of? Obviously you are. The scriptures tell me you are. Didn't we go over where Yah said he was going to give us the, our desires to wipe the cracker off the face of the planet forever? To see recompense to come upon the head of your sworn and Yah giving enemy isn't a sin, you know? Now hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. I'm not saying you can go lay a holy hands on them now. Everything must be done with decency and order. Y'all has to sanction us first. 
You go without being sanctioned, and you're going to die. You wait to be sanctioned, and your enemies will die. But at least get your minds right about the task. Remember, we will walk up out of here without tumult or haste. Our pain will come after we are born. Say that, am I not? to pray to see my God's face, to be in his presence once and for all like he promised? I can't help it if this event and death and destruction go hand in hand. I didn't write it. I'm just reading it and believing it, people. Let's continue. Quote, Thus says the Lord Almighty, Let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days. Stop. That's us people. These days is referring back to bringing his people from the east and the west. Question. Can you hear and understand the words coming out of my mouth? If so, let your hands be strong. For we are coming towards these days. Let's see what else we are supposed to hear. Quote. Let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words out of the mouths of the prophets from the day that the house of the Lord Almighty was founded and from the time that the temple was built. Stop! Question! Do you hear slash understand the Old Testament? I ask because... This is talking about all the Old Testament prophets. If we use the advice of listening to what is said and what is not said, am I the only person who don't see the New Testament writings mentioned as a requirement of hearing and understanding? No. Nor do I see any of the fanciful books you Hebrew Christians. Why, Jesus! Mm. Talk on it. Like to quote as though they were sanctioned by Yah. Did the prophets write Maccabees or any other book you use to explain your Esau is the white man? The white man has leprosy. The white man is really a blue black African whose DNA changed because of one man's family was stricken with white skin forever, etc., etc., etc. The answer is no. And as you can see, he only said the words of the prophets are required to hear and understand. But let's not let small disconnects like false doctrines that has destroyed the credibility of the truth come between you and I and the wisdom given unto me. Let's continue, shall we? Quote, for before those days, the wages of men could not be profitable, and there could be no hire of cattle, and there could be no peace by reason of the affliction to him that it went out, or to him that came in. For I would have let loose all men, every one against his neighbor. But now I will not do to the remnant of this people, us, according to the former days, says the Lord Almighty. Stop! I'm not sure. Let me say it again now. I'm not sure, but I think this is talking about before the flood. This description doesn't fit any other time in biblical history. The book of Enoch said, Yah made the Nephilim kill each other off. The Old Testament is littered with the references of Yah making our enemies fight each other and then he mopped them up. Again, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. But just imagine this, people. The wild, wild west. Cattle rustling and all. But with technology, dinosaurs, and giants! Let's continue, shall we? Quote, But I will show peace. The vine shall yield her fruit. And the land shall yield her produce, and the heaven shall give its due. And I will give as an inheritance all these things to the remnant of my people. Stop! Notice, we are called a remnant several times. A remnant isn't many people. 
people. Let's continue. Quote. And it shall come to pass as ye were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel. Stop! Mr. Nations and racist crackers in particular. Could the curse mentioned here be the same curses you hear the Hebrew Christians profess? You got to admit, the cullets are a sight to behold, aren't we? Like no other people on the face of the planet. What other major group of people, remember, it said our entire house, could be considered a curse among all the nations upon the earth? There is only one answer. This can only mean your prayers for me to be wrong didn't come true. Which can only mean you better start hugging the hell out of some of these colors. Because the signs of the time says you don't have much time left. Wow, you must feel like complete assholes to know for surety you are the very people everyone in the world has at least heard of doing the unthinkable to the untouchables. But let's see what y'all will do with these cursed people. Stop, let's continue. Quote, so I will save you and ye shall be a blessing. Be of good courage and strengthen your hands. Stop. According to Google and myself, the meaning of the word save means keep safe or rescue someone or something from harm or danger. Set free. Free. Liberate. Deliver. Bail out. Which can only mean we need it to be rescued, which can only mean we are in the midst and in the clutches of our enemy's devices, evil geniusly masquerading to look as though we are moving on up to the north side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky high high, <laughs> where the grits don't burn in the kitchen, and the beans don't burn on the grill. Cracker told you to pull yourself by your own bootstraps just to get up that hill. Now you're up in the big leagues, getting your turn at bat. As long as you can live, is get rich or die trying. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But let's continue. Quote, For thus says the Lord Almighty, as I took counsel to afflict you when your fathers provoked me, says the Lord Almighty, and I repented not, so have I prepared and taken counsel in these days to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Be ye of good courage. Stop. So the scriptures do give us a sneak peek into how Yah does his bidding. It said y'all took counsel to punish us and took counsel to bless us. In the Jezebel story, we get a sneak peek into how the council goes down. But did you hear the shout out y'all gave us here in America? It's obvious we have suffered the most by the worst. I think y'all called it a furnace of affliction. Man, that's, that is one deep quote. That's one deep quote, a furnace of affliction. Wow. Let's continue. Quote, speak truth, everyone, with his neighbor. Judge truth and peaceable judgment in your gates. Stop. Yet another indicator, the Judas goats in sheep's clothing are just that. Judas goats in sheep's clothing. This says to speak the truth with your neighbor. Judge the truth with a peaceable resolution. It doesn't say look like a bull caught in a net at the head of each corner, screaming obscenities while preaching absurdities, looking like a bull beat in the process. Your gates, even in Babylon, means your hood, your community. Seeing we are supposed to be separate, and you know this, your actions are outside of decency and order. 
But don't be fooled. There are some pretty smooth cats out here. They look the part, act the part, with olive oil voices and Israelite charm, but their message is nothing more or less than Christianity. Wait, Jesus! With a flash of defiance here and token resistance there. But let me put this darn soapbox away. Let's continue. Quote, And let none of you devise evil in his heart against his neighbor, and love not a false oath. For all these things I hate, says the Lord Almighty. Stop! All the lying, cheating, and stealing going on in our community, we act like predators. Our motto is, do unto others before they do unto you. They say, when a property crime is committed, it is usually done by someone that you know. But wait! Check out how the evildoers have made the love of a false oath cool and respectable. And because of the death by cop craze, a necessary evil in our community. Although everybody knows exactly who broke into your house, smoked up all your weed, how they cooked and ate up all your food, let your dog out the fence, took your porno stash with personal once-in-a-lifetime footage. Everybody knows how much drugs they got for your TV, your PlayStation, and jewelry, and know what other crimes they committed with your stolen gun. Yeah! The cool and respectable phrase you will hear throughout the hood is no snitching, nickel. But let's continue, shall we? Quote, And the word of the Lord Almighty came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord Almighty, The fourth fast, and the fifth fast, and the seventh fast, and the tenth fast, shall be to the house of Judah for joy and gladness, and for good feast. And ye shall rejoice, and love ye the truth and peace. Thus says the Lord Almighty, Yet shall many people come, and the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of five cities shall come together to one city, saying, Let us go to make supplication to the Lord, and to seek the face of the Lord Almighty. I will go also, and many peoples and many nations shall come to seek earnestly the face of the Lord Almighty in Jerusalem not his holy mouth, mind you, and to obtain favor of the Lord. This sounds strange, but we're going to keep going. Quote, Thus says the Lord Almighty, In those days my word shall be fulfilled if ten men of all the languages of the nation shall take hold, even take hold of, him, of the hymn of a Jew, saying, Listen to what they say now. We will go with thee, for we have heard that God is with you. Example. Am I the only person to notice it will be ten men of all the languages of the nations doing this? Not just ten crackers from America. I said it like that because I didn't want him to start crunching the numbers to see if he had a fighting chance. Besides, the context of this story is these particular people didn't have a person have any personal contact with us, meaning they are not one of the unlucky we will lay holy hands upon. Why do I say this? Because they will say they heard that God is with us. The cracker that will be at the receiving end of our vanquishing throttling, crying like women in pain will know that God is with us. Big difference with just one word. One last observation before I let you go. Notice it did say, we will go with thee, for we have heard God is with us. Now did it. Thank you for looking at this video, and look for the next. Truth.